So another thing we're looking at in cover crops is the use of a roller crimper for cover crop termination. Roller cr a roller crimper is a mechanical implement that can be used to terminate cover crops. However, what we're finding is that the cover crop has to be at a reproductive stage, and that's whether we're talking about something like hairy vetch or like cereal rye. And what we found is in corn, a roller crimper by itself in Tennessee is probably not going to be a very effective termination tool. Our cover crops are a little too small at that time for a roller to be an effective method of termination. As you can see on the cereal rye, we didn't get much um, of the crimping effect. And on the hairy vetch, we just didn't get very good termination. And we're also not getting a lot of added benefit on weed control whenever we compare this to a, to a herbicide alone application. Uh, one thing to point out here is that, especially in the hairy vetch versus a cereal rye cover crop, in the hairy vetch, it's a legume, it fixes nitrogen, and uh, we have Palmer amaranth start coming, Palmer amaranth and other weeds start coming through this cover crop a lot faster. So um, a, cover cr a roller crimper is not really an effective tool for corn in Tennessee. However, um, as we'll look at, it can be effective for soybeans. So when we're talking about using a roller crimper a little later in the year, um, about soybean planting time in Tennessee, we have a whole lot more benefits from um, the ability to use a roller crimper. So a roller crimper, when it's being used effectively, on a cover crop that's in uh, reproductive stages. Uh, more, more specifically, when we're talking about a cereal cover crop, it needs to be in the dough stage. But the added benefit is that the biomass from the cover crop is rolled down flat on the ground, as we see here. Um, it can have an added impact to weed control. The, all that biomass being compacted on the ground slows down the timing that we have weeds um, coming up in these plots. And it also gives us an added agronomic impact of giving our soybeans a chance to come up um, get to the sunlight a little faster and get ahead of the, of the plots that are uh, just terminated with a herbicide. Uh, one of the other things that we'd like to point out is, uh, especially in this type scenario where we're waiting to terminate our cover crop in soybeans uh, until right up until planting, somewhere within the 10 day window before planting, uh, we're also having to make an added insect application. We're making a pyrethroid insecticide application for um, pests like cutworms or three-cornered alfalfa hoppers, we definitely see an increase of those whenever we're planting, it, planting straight into a cover crop or into a cover crop that was recently terminated. 